the X up You saw the button in the back up And then it's kicking They continue drinking It's doused in the pig pen Chuck Someone's about to pop this drunk Throwing an alcohol on the rug I can't explain it I think I'm wasted I think I'm wasted Something cause we've done this before Breaking all the rules with the bottles on the floor If you wanna see a party, they wait what you do On the life of the party You want us yeah, to do another one? You got another. Yeah? They want it. All right, all right. Okay. Everyone saying yes? Everyone saying yes. All right. What's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in. I'm crossed out again. That's Taboo on the drums. With me is Melodica. You can't see her right now. But I'm here. She's there. All right. This song, um, it's a brand new song. It's not even out yet. Um, I actually just dropped a brand new song on this past Friday. So if you go everywhere to where I'm at you'll see it there it's a little bit different than this I like to change up my style every once in a while um, but this new song um, like I said it's not out yet but it's kinda like where I'm trying to go with stuff so I hope you like it if you don't be honest and say it sucks and that I suck and that I should go home Nobody say that. okay well right. let's do it let's do it Living life so unusual Not that kid that you used to know Last weddings and more of these funerals Not that kid that you used to know Long hair in this whiskey Yeah Not that kid that you used to know So if I left, yeah you'd never have to miss me Telling me that I don't pick up that phone much anymore And you don't call home Why are the people that you gotta ignore? You say that you're one of us But it's pretty clear that you're not Why think that you better think that you're big now Move from the small town, go and get the big stuff Not that your ego's even bigger now And you fucking forgot our names Well, now, from the same town When nothing ever happened We did the parties up like that years But back then, those memories You can have them not the kid that you used to know What back those is what through no road We so cloud and it's beautiful Beautiful, beautiful Not that kid that you used to know Want three shots of whiskey before I go Talk about the ocean with my soul I'm sorry mom, I'm not that kid that you used to know Used to know, used to know, used to know not that kid that you used to know Want black roses in my funeral Please don't try to be beautiful, beautiful I'm sorry for every family reunion I've ever missed Every phone call I never did And I know I don't come home But those rooms have too many white elephants Yeah, then nobody has permission to miss me You have to know I hate this city Everybody about them but no one ever sees me Believe me, I'm leaning on leaving Cause I've been here too long you know that I can't go home, cause I don't belong No, I don't need no phone call, hold on, spare me the sad song I don't need to hear about the old me, should be quite clear, but I don't need Just a grown man who can't afford these groceries Reminisce about the old days, and it was the ones who died, didn't You think the grass is greener on my side, it's not really Not the kids that you used to know, want black roses, but be no row So glad they put us off That kid that you used to know Want to chop the whiskey before I go Pull the bottle in the ocean with my soul I'm sorry mom, I'm not that kid that you used to know To know, to know, to know, to know Not that kid that you used to know Want black roses on my funeral roll Please don't cry, you're beautiful, beautiful Not the kid that you used to know Want black roses on my funeral roll Please don't cry, you're beautiful I'm sorry, mama, I'm not that kid that you used to know. Used to 
trade that you used to know I want black folks here so my female roll Please don't fight it if you do bro You do bro Yo Hope everyone else likes it too Thank you Yeah do your job, man. I'm in business here. Hang on, microphone. Oh, all right, okay. Okay, let's get back to the journey that is crossed out. Love those two tunes. Now, you said that that one, right before you sung it, you said, now, <laughs> speaking of going back home, so is that one dedicated to, like, Campbellford? Does that have a lot of Campbellford references in it? What are we talking about when you say, speaking of going back home, and you sing that song? Yeah, well, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, before we started, so, like, uh, Life of the Party, um, the one, the, um, the first one, uh, that one I wrote several years ago, um, and I was kind of like, I feel like I'm always in a constant state of reminiscing, but, um, <clears throat> so I kind of was like, on some like party type stuff, um, and the record that I was working on, Life of the Party, um, like that, uh, title track, um, it sort of is painting a picture of like, this person that parties, and like, um, <clears throat> A lot of times in rap music people glorify the party and like they don't ever tell you about like the downside so it's like it's that song is a story of yeah. like we're going to a party it's gonna be real lit and then turns out it's just a complete disaster um <clears throat> and then by the end of the record it kind of like i'm not gonna give you the the full thing uh it's up to your own interpretation right. um, i always kind of wondered that too like who has to clean up the rapper's party afterwards like you know the poor person on the yacht that has to clean up after all those girls and all those bottles of crystal are all popped and you got to wake up the next day and you just got to clean up that party. The person that has to clean up the party that we were at was the person that hosted it. Oh. So yeah, if you made a mess, uh, which usually I did, um, then like they weren't happy with you the next couple of days. No, exactly. You so. got to stay awake. You got to get up. You got to clean in the morning, maybe make some breakfast. Then they're not going to hate you. Exactly. Especially yeah. since they're going to find out you probably peed in a sink last night. I, I never peed in a sink. There was well, shit man. There was shit on a doorstep the oh, whole time. Oh, come on. Someone, like, smeared it around. Yeah, it was Campbellford. It was probably cow <laughs> anyways. It was all right. They call that fertilizer in Campbellford. No way. Yeah, I didn't tell you that come one. On, That's <laughs> yeah, it was funny. It, it wasn't me. It happened. I it promise happens. it wasn't me. You know what? Everybody does something bad. Okay, so what happens with the journey after you get out of Montreal? You've taken sound engineering, and now you've, you know, you're a, you're a young man. You're on your way. You make your way to the big city of T.O. Um, yeah, so I kind of, like, during my time in Montreal, kind of, like, started uh, moving away from bass because I was playing a lot of bass. Like, I was mm -hmm. getting pretty good, um, but I really just wanted – to pursue rapping more so I, I continued writing um, and then <clears throat> what happened was at, so it was a year course and then at the end of that year um, I ended up moving back with my parents um, back for to like, Campbellford yeah when you've been on your own for like almost two years especially really, in Montreal yeah yeah all the time you're just going out so you're was, just throwing dollar bills at cows and they're not getting up on a pole at all no nah, man they don't nah, do anything exactly um <laughs> And <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. All right. Um, focus. Fuck you, cow. <laughs> um, and so, um, yeah. So I moved back, and then I just I, I wanted to leave. I actually got myself an internship at a recording studio. Okay. Um, and in so Toronto. I, yeah. Okay. So that was like, um, I was doing it. I didn't have like a job or anything. I just moved to Toronto. Um, and I was like super super poor, but I was doing this, um, working on the table at restaurants. Um, and so then eventually I just kind of, the more I was in Toronto and the more I wanted to pursue, like I, I knew what I was going to do. I just kind of was like, not sure on like how to get there. So it was all just like a snowball effect. Yeah. Um, and then, um, just started, um, <clears throat> Like, I've seen you. How do you get into doing the live shows? Where do you really start with that? Because I've seen you get some pretty wild out shows out there in Toronto. Yeah, well, so what um, What I was doing was, like, I really just wanted to have a catalog to perform first. So I spent, like, you know, so much time. Uh, I was working with two of my buddies. Um, he was putting the, One guy was putting together beats. Well, they both were. Um, and then we would just record it in his home 
through like we had a pantyhoe and like a clothes hanger and made a pop filter. Nice. Um, Put some the, egg cartons on the wall. No, we no? Tilt, we tilted his uh, his couch up like this. Nice. And then I just like wrapped into that. Okay. So some of the stuff that you hear is actually recorded like that. Um, and then I took it to a real studio um, where I actually still work out of now, Pink Distortion in Toronto. Shout out. Yep. All right. What up, Adam? Pink Distortion in Toronto. And um, yeah, so then we just started doing that and like building more songs. And I worked with more producers. Like I wanted like, once Life of the Party was out, I was like, that's cool. And then wanted to just start building more music. So that, that's you know that's what I've been doing for this time. Um, and then I really kind of had done I'd done like open mics coffee houses like in high school and stuff but i really wanted to do like get out there and start doing stuff all right so i just what i did and this is anyone that like wants to be a musician you can do this is just like find a list like go on google and just type in bars in toronto or whatever which is what i did i pulled up every single venue i could find and just emailed them and then one dude got back to me and then i just started started booking my own shows and like that's that's Primarily, what I do now is book my own shows. All right. So you put out the email list. The fans come out. They support you. Yep. And then some love out there in the clubs. Connect with people. We just got back from BC Whoa. not long ago. All right. BC was amazing. So you've done a little bit of a tour. Yeah, we did. Right. Uh, we did uh, East Coast uh, cool. last year, and that was so much fun. And then Mel is always around for the ride. She's oh, like, I've seen a lot of shit. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Melodica. She's seen a lot of shit. All right, get I, on the mic. Then. I've let's, seen a lot of let's shit. Let's get to know Melodica. Come on, let's okay. let's talk about the stuff that you have seen. What's going on? What's up? Okay, get a little bit over here so we can see you. All right, there we go. Perfect. Good? There you go. There we yeah. go. Your selfie mode now. Okay. 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 You can have that one. All but right, we're talking to her me. now. All right. Okay, Melodica. How do you meet Crossed Out? We've crossed paths um, when we were in school in Montreal in the audio. Uh, program okay and then when i graduated from um, music production you are I, french too right yes you can I hear can, a little bit of I the accent the montreal a little bit there. i'm half francophone yeah just a bit so i was kind of like am i going to move to new york city to try and pursue my dreams of being a singer or should i just stay in canada and just like check out toronto so i think i made like a post on facebook and i'm like anyone in toronto and then like aaron's like oh want to start a band and we're like oh we kind of just like connected on like facebook and then one day i'm like hey i'm coming in toronto uh this weekend can i crash at your place and then like Usually we became friends happened. like that and then i moved to toronto and then we ended up together and so hang on where does it start musically is it that night where all of a sudden he starts rapping you start singing how does this how does the bond of the <laughs> music come? i mean we all know how the other type yeah. of bond goes together you know it's late you're drunk and every sudden somebody's the bond naked. of the music started when i officially moved to toronto that summer okay yeah. but what happens where's the first song come from where does you guys decide oh, where you're like how you know did what? we do i don't care so the way we did i don't care i i remember this um was that like you were working on like you had a bunch of shit already just kind of like made up just like singing yeah like right you, so mel sent me a bunch of like um just like demos right and then there was one that was like uh just like a, kind of this like vocal riff and then she's like i don't care and then i was like that's cool uh and then like I, I i do like i fiddle around with like production stuff myself so like i kind of put compiled this beat and then um put that in there because i thought that'd be really cool so i put the sample in there so i sampled mel first uh and then like threw in a bunch of other stuff um and then kind of built it from there started writing and then i took it to where we record like pink distortion that's right yeah um and then we just scrapped everything we kept like the piano stuff and like a few other things we didn't even keep that sample finally it just started from that sample and we built the song around the sample and scrapped the sample yeah so the song <laughs> i don't care is based off of the sample that um mel had all right yeah so now we figured out where mel came from yep now let's get into taboo Taboo. All right. I don't know if we can oh, hear him. I... You tell the story, Cross. You tell check. the story. How do you meet this man? Check, check. All right. Me. I actually know exactly when and how we met All right. and All why. Right. All right. No, you go ahead. You yeah, go ahead. sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was over a girl. <clears throat> no. That's it was, right. It was over a doobie. Yeah. That's right. A doobie and a girl. None Both. of the above. A doobie actually. over the girl. No? Yes. Yeah. No, oh. actually. You needed help in math class? What? How did this happen? Yeah. Um, it was after, like, we had moved to Toronto and we were doing shows. Mel had a gig at uh, the Revival Bar in Toronto. Shout out Revival. Great yeah. venue. All right. And so I don't exactly know what you were doing there. You were with 
this other dude. I was with another artist. Yeah. 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 And then I had, I think we had added each other on Facebook because I just have this thing that I started doing was just like add people that like have a lot of mutual friends that are like, you know, it could be beneficial. Like that's, I think how I added you. I'm not sure. It was probably me. Hmm. Usually if I see anybody that's usually playing an instrument in their Facebook page, I will add them as a friend and then I usually invite their band to come play here. Yeah. That, yeah that's yeah, yeah. usually how this thing works and how you get in the studio people. That's yeah. about it. So that's what kind of <laughs> happened. And then so he was actually, he was there. You were there. Yeah. And then I was like, yo, what's up? And then. Yeah. And then we chatted for a little bit. And, then and when I, do you decide to bring him in as the drummer? How does that work? When you do you know, tell him that you play drums? I mean, man, like we, we kind of, we connected at that show. I was there with an artist that I'm a producer and a drummer and mm -hmm. I'm just a freelance guy. So I kind of go where the wind blows. Gay Walker. That's right. That's right. So, um, and I happened to be there and we connected like Aaron said. And, uh, and then, um, I think, I think you just. We just kind of paid paid attention to each other. I think that was for we a made, while. We ate this magical fungus underneath a pile <laughs> yeah, of stuff yeah. in Campbellford, and next thing you know, we made a band. Yeah, <laughs> it right. was it was sick. And then he, um, you know, I'm not I'm not too dedicated to any particular projects, so um, so I kind of fill in for people, add you know an element of of you know energy to someone's live performance, and and crossed out was was really uh, gracious enough to bring me on board for some of his live stuff and. Um, and then we connected. We did a video together. Um, I yep. featured on a track playing drums on yeah. Off the Wall. Yep. That was really fun. Shout out to Andrew Falcao, too. Yeah, Twin Rova. Yeah. Andrew, you played guitar, and that was amazing. Yeah, and then that that's kind of it. You just talk to people. If you if you enjoy what they're doing, you, you connect. Yeah. And then you just pay attention to each other, support each other, encourage each other, you know, and then, and then you just do great work, I think. Okay. Now I got to ask about the tattoos. My tattoos? Yeah. Well, I mean, you started. <laughs> did you start with the neck and not make your way to the forearms yet? How does that work? Usually, yeah. most people start down here. Okay. So you know, actually, this is very funny that you asked right. me this. So shout I started, out your tattoo guy too. Oh yeah, Justin Vino. Good, crazy. He's done everything on my body. Shout out. Um, he's fantastic. But I actually, my first tattoo was this rose on my neck. You went with the neck first. I did. And what'd your parents think of that one? Uh, they weren't impressed. Obviously uh, not. I mean, my mom was cool. My yeah. mom was cool. Moms about it. always are. Yeah, man. She was. She was supportive. She but was just a little disappointed. My mom wasn't. I, I. I would hope not. That's a rough word in the word of in oh, the world yeah. of parenting. You know. Nothing hurts worse. <laughs> yeah, but right. I went. I, you know why I went for the neck was because I wanted to pigeonhole myself into this industry okay I, I love doing this stuff so much and i knew it was going to be difficult for me to get a job yeah. with my neck tattooed at age 18. so you and forced it, yourself into i gotta make money on how i know what to do yeah and what makes me just happy no oh, there's that and i'm a full-time musician now so nice it i guess it worked hey man yeah you know what you're living your dream and that's what we like to hear that's right all that right fun all right you guys ready to go again have we learned everything about everyone we found out at melodica we know everything about crossed out taboo i think are we ready, ready to go yeah these all are right. the last two tracks let's do two more tracks all right here we go hey, we're live so and loud absolutely yeah. guys thank shout you for making the drive Steve Kern. shout out let's Kern. do this Steve from the radio we're live and loud with crossed out here for two more songs yeah. in the wolf studios let's go crank it up Here before me being poor, needed him more. Feels like I can't even breathe anymore. Excuse me while waiting for this tour. And now I'm gonna need another week. Am I being soft? I said, and I'm gonna need another week. Up because music's the only thing that I dream of. It's how I release these demons. Shame the most of these people are sleeping. Cause I say the most psychics. That's exaggerations. Will I keep some of my states? No one will forget my name. These opening acts because of your terminal pain. It's insane. They think that they're fake. I can't afford to think that way, man But really, they be taking heat Cause I'm someone they paint and see 
You should get the picture quit, I'm focused, ready to stop Just know this, I'm hopeless, but refuse Cause I'm explosive, never had a chance to blow up Now my wits and lately This back and forth between jobs Got me going crazy now I don't wanna fight for my boss It's just that he don't pay me How do you expect me to not see these things Not pretend like I'm not beating These words is a pad and a pen And my hand it was an anybody who said that I can I've been telling myself I'm next for far too long When going and took us being on the ball Picture this, we got to the spot Just the right two people But we gave it a raw Man, it's probably this up I've crawled, I've lost some friends So it's time to not intend to come back again Should I pack it in like I'm mad at it? I'll be tragic again Now to another rapper's end Cause that's all I am Need this for the home that heads crash out I'll leave this for the home and ain't I ain't ready to go home yet Don't know the wrong of these words I'll roll like that They never know what I go So last one, this is the song we were talking about. Hope everyone enjoyed us. Cause if you didn't. I hope so too. What's up? Jack Johnson says party on! Yeah, what's <laughs> up? Party on. Party yeah. On. Party 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 on.
Crossed out live and loud in the Wolf Studio. Say goodnight, Crossed Out. Good night, guys.